What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Seth, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the most recent Maple Story store pack costume things. I, I have actually gotten two of them that we are going to actually be able to see in game, and then the other ones we're just gonna kind of run through the preview of them. And most of all, this is a video for those of you out there that can't decide, you know, which one do you want to actually go for? Because all of these, you gotta keep this in mind, folks. All of these different costume packs, these are limited time only. You're only going to be able to buy these before January 10th, and then they're just gone. Who knows if they'll ever end up coming back. Near as I can tell, there's no in-game way of getting these vanity costumes, and oh my goodness gracious, they look beautiful. The thing that I love about them is that there's one for everybody. So I'm actually rocking this one right here. Absolutely beautiful. This is the Berserker's weapon anyways. Let me actually uh, go into my settings here and turn off my weapon video effects so that you guys can end up seeing what this looks like uh without there we go so this is going to end up being the one for the berserker weapon anyways of course if you're just rocking uh any of the other classes just getting rid of my other aura there uh it's going to end up showing you the different weapon as kind of a preview but i just think this is absolutely epic uh i most of all ended up getting this costume specifically because with my uh you know my face mask which is just my sex plays logo uh i thought this looks like Leoric, you know, and the Skeleton King from Diablo, which is one of my favorite uh, characters persona in a video game. Uh, now, one thing I do want to point out, which is very disappointing, I, I kind of feel a little bit ripped off here, is that none of these costumes, you can't dye any of them. I don't know why they just, I, I don't know. I really don't. For some reason, you just can't uh, die any of them, which kind of sucks because honestly, if I could have, I would have made this a purple and it would have been great. Uh, then there is also the other one I have saved as a style here. And this is going to end up being, where is it? There it is. Uh, so this one's going to be the Darkwind HQ, whereas the other one we were just looking at was the Royal Guard. Uh, these, of course, are all themed after the, um, after the new... It, not guilds, what's the words that I'm looking for? The factions, the factions that have been added to the game with a new epic quest line and everything like that. And you can kind of have yourself in theme with all of them. And I love this costume. One of the things that I think is absolutely great about this one is the more you look at it, the more you notice like all of the little details, you know, like there's just so much going on with this costume, which might be a little much for some people, but for me, absolutely brilliant like i love the details i love the sword and everything and the whole style of it but once again we can't die it which i understand what they're going for i understand why you can't die it because it's supposed to be in theme with the factions themselves rather than a costume that you get to have as a player but still it's like you look at the shiny blue on the costume and on the sword and it's like why can't I re-dye that? Why can't I change the color? Same with the other costumes. So maybe they'll end up patching that eventually because otherwise, really, it just kind of feels like a ripoff. Most of all, not, not because the costumes aren't cool or anything like that, but considering that the costumes are $22 each, like, ooh, that's a little bit brutal. Now, uh, another thing I'm noticing here is that they apparently are on sale. So maybe the sale ends on the 10th and then these costumes stay in the store. So don't quote me on it, guys. I don't know exactly. But this one's really cool as a sort of assassin costume. And I love the little details to the trim uh, on the blue that you've got going on with it, right? So another thing that my friend Stratus pointed out, I didn't even think to do this because most costumes you can't do this, is you click and you can actually see the entire costume. Now, obviously it's not going to end up being the uh, same thing as if we would end up, uh, let me actually get my face cam out of the way, uh, as if we could end up actually seeing this in game, you know, like it would obviously end up being a lot better if we could just see it for ourselves. Uh, the earrings, ignore those. Those are actually from uh, a different costume, but this is kind of like the, uh, well, it's the Maple Alliance. So it's got to do with Maple Story itself and kind of why it's all the same red colors and stuff in military. And I mean, the weapon styles are absolutely beautiful. Definitely worth checking out on the other characters for sure. Uh, here's the little T pose. Here's your combat pose, which of course we can't really see as much because we're rocking a Zerk, but either way, it's absolutely beautiful, but not something I'm into because I don't care for the whole captain like army feel. I don't know what have you. And again, you can't dye it. So that's two costumes already that are going to end up being red. And I'm sorry that, you know, I'm sorry I'm not showing you all of them. 
uh, in game, but honestly, I didn't really feel like dropping down a hundred bucks just to end up having a bunch of costumes I was never going to end up using, you know what I mean? Now, there is still the possibility of using these on other characters, like this one right here. Obviously, it would just look absolutely brilliant on uh, an archer, or if your favorite color is blue, obviously, or not blue, jeez, that's green, man, Jiminy Crockett. Uh, but I like the little detail to the scarf, uh, the helmet itself, you know, something we've, we've seen a lot of styles like this in the game, but I'm more particularly really like the gloves and I like the boots. I think it would end up going with a lot of other costumes uh, as opposed to the rest of it. That's kind of the thing that I don't like about the fact that you can't re-dye it uh, because it means that a lot of these costumes are kind of stuck uh, matching with themselves and there's not really that many things you can end up combining uh, with the costumes, you know? And then last but not least, we got the Luminites right here, which this would look absolutely brilliant on a knight itself, you know? But not really so much for my own personal style, especially it being the whole baby blue thing. I do like the style of the weapon. Uh, you know, I think that it's actually really, really cool how they ended up going the extra mile and having these nice little details. Uh, plus, this armor kind of has the nice well-rounded well knee pads, and then the helmet itself is very decked out and decorated well. Uh, of course, you can't really see your character's face. You're kind of just going to end up taking this as a disguise that you can just use while you're out in the field, right? But either way, very, very cool stuff. Definitely worth checking them out, even if, uh, you know, maybe, maybe they're not your favorite. I didn't even notice there was that cute little cape. I'll go into the combat. That so you can see the back uh, the back of all these costumes right here there you go uh, and then I guess there is the in-game one as well so you can see uh, that's what that one looks like which it, you know it's cool it's not like it's bad or anything it's uh, they're awesome they really all are you know and it's just I, I really do enjoy these costumes I think that they're great but uh, again I, I don't mean to keep repeating myself here guys but seriously why can we not die these you know like why what is with that so anyways i just wanted this as a quick little preview video obviously you know for most of you you already just ended up clicking on them yourself but i just wanted to show you a couple of them in game that uh, you know they were my fancy i i prefer these costumes and most of all because I want to give you a prime example of the costumes look good when you preview them, but they look so much better when you actually have them on your character and can see it in game and zoom in and everything like that, right? Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Very much appreciate it. Sign on and stay epic.